Hey, welcome to my radio channel, and this is a video to uh, talk about this great website. I've posted a video many uh, months ago about this website, and I still use it from time to time. I'm more of a manual guy, so I use the, the lists, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's my computer tech mind that likes lists. But a lot of you guys have been using this website, and for those that don't know this website exists, that's also why I'm talking about it. This is a great little place, and basically I'll be posting the link to this shortwave.info website uh, in the description below the video so you can go on this website. So basically, here you can uh, check out all the transmission, what's on the air now, if you want, on different bands. So for example, say I'm in the daytime here, for example, now. I say, well, I'm going to check what the 19 meter band has to offer right now, and I can click now. And basically, you've got a map with all the transmitter uh, locations and frequencies used. And at the bottom, you have at least a complete list of all of the transmissions going on right now in different languages. Of course, you can go up and say, well, I want to search for, uh, let's say, KBS World Radio right now uh, in English. Are they transmitting? And you can click go and see is there an English transmission from them right now and you'll see oh yeah there is one that's interesting so you can look at the frequency range where they are from what's even cool is that not only can you view the transmitters and the frequencies used on a map but what's cool is that you can actually go and set for example you'll ch click the little flag here and it's going to give you a map of where the transmitter is located. You can actually click Google Earth and see it through Google Earth from satellite view. So it's very, very cool because it really, really uh, kind of puts you at the location of where everything is. So apparently it should be somewhere here. Some are more or less exact, so it depends on each transmitter site. But this is a great, great place. If you're looking at, you know, getting information of where this and this transmission is located and so on. Uh, you're listening to something and you're like, okay, I'm, s I'm listening to 15610 right now and there's the English broadcast. What is that? Now you click, gives you, oh, okay, there's a transmission from the United States right now. And if you go down, you'll see WEWN English from the United States. So it's pretty cool. It's a very, very nice website for that. Of course, you've got uh, more instructions, a little bit of instructions on how it works uh, if you need help on understanding the uh, website. Uh, there's a shortwave frequency bands list with information. Uh, there's radio equipment. They're talking about a few radios here and uh, references. They have a propagation information link gives you the information about you know how propagation works um, and then there's useful links to other websites and other places that you might want to go to but it's a great resource and it's very very easy to find pretty much what you want on this website especially with this you know this is nice because it's easy to understand and it's easy to use I'm, you know, an old shortwave listening guy, so I, I use lists that are more complicated, and I like that, but this is obviously a, a great resource and easy to understand. It's fun because you just punch in frequencies that you want to search for what transmission you're listening to, and it's going to pop up here, and it's also cool that you have a visual on the map. It's always, on the shortwave bands, it's always really, really cool to um, kind of understand where things are coming from. It's always nice to know where are the transmissions coming from. So uh, that's the cool thing about this uh, website, that's for sure. So shortwave.info, great website, very, very nice information if you're looking for schedules. And I think it's one of the worth it places to go. That is for sure. 
to find out what you're listening at and to also find out new broadcasts by checking out the different stations uh, through the list or if you're looking for transmissions in specific languages and so on. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online and uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. It's always uh, nice to have your feedback, so don't hesitate.